Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is issue 78 of your drone R2-D2. Uh, I've been very good with this one. I've, I've got all the screws ready, just off camera. So, hopefully, <laughs> everything will go really smoothly. I'm sure it won't, but there we go. Um, in this issue, basically we're doing the tool compartment, which looks really cool. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, the little door obviously opens up, and inside it you've got the two arms that fold out you have to fold them out yourself they're not powered but uh they're quite nice now excuse me tap, tap, tap. um the compartment itself does look a bit dull and boring obviously it's going to have a couple of arms in it so this is the one thing that i might play around with might certainly do some weathering stuff like that in it but not not today uh, when r2 is completed you can still get to it and do things with it uh, so we've got lots of connectors and tool arms and pivot tools and things like that. So assembling the first arm, and then the second arm. So we start with the first one. Uh, right, this is this bit with three little uh, claw bits. So we're cutting these off of the sprue. Make sure I'm cutting the right bit. Yep, just there. The three of those, they're all the same. So you don't need to worry about which one's which. Don't need that anymore. Uh, now I'm just going to file very lightly, get rid of that little nub mark from in there. Well, I think this is sort of inside. Yeah, this bit goes inside anyway. So you just need to make sure that that's smooth so it slides into the, the piece anyway. Uh, right, BP22. I don't know, it's probably that one. They don't label any of these bits, many of these bits, I should say. So, yeah, uh, basically these are just going to slot into there like that. Uh, it says use a, a spot of super glue to glue these in place. So I have some super glue here that I prepared earlier. Uh, I shall just get out a single solitary spot on each of the three holes it's the easy way of doing it and then slide these in place they're actually quite a tight fit anyway so even without the glue they'll probably be okay but obviously the glue just makes sure they stay where they're put so there we go we've got the little pincery bit uh, now that goes into the P22 which must be this bit uh, the end of that is keyed so it only takes it one way and it goes in like that and again it says just a, a spot of glue on there as well just to hold it in place so that's that uh, now we need the forked end of one of the tool tube arms I think they're both the same by the, word, by the looks of it goes over the longer tool pivot of that one basically that is ratcheted so it goes where you need it to go uh, this is the bits that I prepared earlier I have a screw a bolt and a nut so the nut actually locates into the hole the screw goes in the other side and that holds that together there and can hopefully yeah just be adjusted up and down like that now we need to glue that into there again only goes the wrong way round so you don't need to worry too much the flat side obviously goes against the flat side so that is arm number one now I have seen some bits online about these arms being the wrong way round. So I think the top one's at the bottom and the bottom one's at the top according to being screen accurate. But I'm not that worried. Um, I'm going to do it as per the instructions. It's all held together with screws. As I say the bits obviously are, some bits are glued together but that's all okay as it is. Uh, if I need to I can unscrew that and put it the other way around. But 
it really doesn't worry me that much. Uh, this one is different. You've got that, which glows, goes into the side there. It's obviously not a pincer, the same as the other side. So a little dab of glue in there. And that goes into there as well. Clips in a little bit further than that. Just get that the right way around. These actually are quite nice. There's very marginal seam lines and things on there, but I'm not worried about it. If I did sand down that, then I'd have to repaint it and everything, which, to be honest, for bits that are going to be sealed up inside the droid without me probably, very rarely, opening, I'm not that worried about it. Uh, this one, exactly the same, but a slightly shorter fitting that side. Again, nut and bolt, hold that in place. There we go, that's that. And we've got the other bar that goes in, again, one end and the other, the claw goes onto from the other end. We've got that one and that one there as well. So that's the second arm. Obviously the opposite's gold and silver and silver and gold. Looking good. So next up we are fitting them into the compartment. So we've got the main compartment here. <coughs> Put it that way around and that one goes at the bottom. And the other one goes at the top, apparently. Uh, which way round does that go? It goes that way round, apparently. So it's got it that way round. So we'll use that. We'll go with that. Uh, this is the normal self-tapping screws in there. Which is holding that in place. And the same on the top. Let's get that as well. Uh, again, that's got that one going down that way, so I'll tighten that up in a moment. Just that one not moving. Let's get the other one tightened as well. So, we should be happy with the way they go in, and they obviously fold down in the other way around, because that's the shorter one. They fold up out of the way, and when you want them out, you can just pull them out. So, they're okay. They're novelty value rather than any functional parts or anything. I'm not overly concerned about them one way or the other. Uh, actually that one is the other way around according to the picture that I can see down the bottom there so I'm going to take that one out and turn that around so we got it that way around and just to give that finish on there that way so we'll go with that that's that uh, next up we're putting the door to it uh, so we've got Couple more bits. What have we got? Where have we got them? Where have I put my tweezers? There they go. A couple of the hinge pieces. And the door itself. Uh, these go in there with longer screws. Getting those the right way around. Now again, some people did have some trouble with the fitting of this door. Sometimes it was a bit too proud of the main body once it's fitted. Obviously we'll find out what happens once it's on there. It says if it doesn't move, loosen the screw a little bit. 
it should be tight but not wobbling so we go with that there and this goes on exactly the same from the top it's nice that I'm throwing these things on the floor uh, it's nice that these videos are actually getting to be a, a better length than previous ones you get you know a two or three minute video these are actually so the last one I think was 20 minutes for the, the previous part this one's probably going to be about there as well it feels like there's more content each each week it's, which is nice. I hope you're enjoying watching. Get that in there. Looks about right and feels a little bit loose, so we go a little bit tighter than that. That looks better. Okay, so that goes on there, and then this goes onto there. Uh, which way around? That way there. That way there. Uh, they go in inside and screw from the top. All oh, right, I see where they go. There's little holes there that these sit in. And they are held in place. Two more screws from the outside. Nice. Oh. Yeah, so this is um, the build started off oh, it's the first few weeks, obviously, all excitement and joy and look what I'm building. But it didn't really look like much. Then you got a leg done. And then there's that whole having to do exactly the same thing again on the other leg, which is never that much fun because you've done it before. So it's nice to have something more unique in the build to do goes together nicely so there we go that's that which uses plastic to sort of clip shut so that's okay I'm, I'm quite happy with that it looks like that check the door opens closes smoothly apart from the the bit that snaps shut yep uh, and then we basically have to fit it to the panel that we got uh, right if it's from the inside uh, fit with the door open it says so the doors obviously going to come through like that and so that goes through there I think yeah that goes into there so we've got four positions that hold that secure one two three along there and one at the back don't know why you have to fit it with the door open, but we'll do what it says. Uh, now these are fitted using the, the flanged screws, because obviously it's holding a thin bit of plastic in place. So as ever, with multiple screws to do, get one started, and then get all of the others started, and make sure they line up properly before you tighten any of them because you don't want to tighten one that's in the wrong place especially with these self tapping screws that cut their way into the plastic every time you take them out and put them back in you're basically weakening everything so the fewer times you have to fit them the better so that's three just started on let's get the fourth one on as well so that's there and the door opens like that and closes like that yeah that's okay it's got a, a ridge there but you need a bit of a ridge to be able to get a finger under it to open it so let's get those tightened down making sure I'm going the right way around I'm going to switch out to the bigger screwdriver for those. Make sure that actually hits, sits in the 
the slots nicely so you don't run the risk of stripping the head of the screw. Yep, that's that one. Obviously supporting the other side that you're screwing into so you're not bending the plastic too much and causing more problems for yourself. One there and one more. Along there. There we go. Cool. So yeah, that's that. That goes on there. It opens like that. And you've got the uh, tools, the pokey arms come out and get your sausages back and things from Yoda. So yeah, that's quite nice. Nice little detail that doesn't you know, doesn't do very much, but it's nice to have it there. Uh, right, the last bit we've got in this part is the four, excuse the traffic, uh, four connector parts of two different types. So we've got two for the ends and two for the middle. And it says which is which. Yeah, so the L1s are going in the middle. And they go, which way around, that way around. making sure that they're actually differently shaped. Yeah, one has got a number on it. Okay, this is the one with the arrow, which goes with the arrow not pointing towards us. It goes down there. Again, we're using the big flange screws on these. And we're not actually putting this onto anything yet, so we're just putting these on the one side. So hopefully that will line up when we come to do it for the next bit. Getting that the right way around as well. That one. And there, these we may have to loosen off a touch and adjust when we go to put the other side together to get a good fit. But we'll worry about that next time or next month or whenever the, the other side comes in. I haven't actually noticed if that's one of the things that we've got at the moment. Okay, so we've got these. Um, they seem to be symmetrical. So it doesn't actually matter which way around they go. No, they're symmetrical. So that will go on there. And the next panel along, we'll screw into these as well. And the last bit. is on there so um a very productive issue this part uh, we've got him good to go so uh as ever thanks for watching hope you're enjoying the build hope you're subscribing to the channel and coming back for more each time and i'll see you soon for the next part thanks for watching bye bye